And now to an Eyewitness News exclusive. A local prosecutor's office says it is seeing a disturbing rise in reports of children being targeted for abuse. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is in Gloucester County to explain. Good evening, Madeline. Jessica, good evening. There's been a significant increase in the number of referrals for child abuse and neglect. As a result, the folks here at the Gloucester County Prosecutor's Office's Special Victims Unit have had to hire more staff to manage the workload. It's a neutral fact finding interview. A troubling trend at the Gloucester County Prosecutor's Office's Special Victims Unit is keeping detectives extra busy. When you looked at the actual numbers, it was kind of astonishing that it had gone up that much. Lieutenant Stacy Lick is a supervisor at the department. She says in 2020, there were 304 referrals for child abuse or neglect. In 2021, there were 414. Once they recognized that. There was an increase of numbers. We added an additional detective. We have a Spanish speaking detective as well. We had a clerk that was assigned, and then we added a victim advocate that is here full time. She attributes the uptick in referrals to the pandemic, which has forced schools to implement virtual learning, meaning kids are spending more time behind the computer. She says strangers are soliciting kids to send nude pictures of themselves through social media apps like Kick, Snapchat, and Instagram. They're even reaching out to kids through the chat function on video games like Fortnite and Roblox. And they sometimes um, bribe the children to send photos with. Uh, gaming tokens or gaming money. Lick's office is creating educational videos to be played in schools so kids can learn how to be safe online. If I can give any advice to the parents is really know what your kids are doing, know who they are communicating with, and really educating them. And to be able to better do their jobs, the Special Victims Unit is planning to move from their office here on Cooper Street to a much bigger office in a building that's under construction about a mile away on Glover Street. Lick says that she's hoping that move will take place by the end of the year. Live in Woodbury, New Jersey, Madeline Wright, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Madeline, thank you.